Ulama Bukharti, he's a Nigerian human rights and anti-corruption lawyer and he joins me now from London. Good to have you on the programme. Um, we've just heard um, a Chinese official there denying, um, well, saying relations are still friendly between China and Africa. Um, why are Africans in China reportedly being targeted? Um, I have uh, had the rejection from the Chinese uh, foreign ministry, uh, but this is not in line with the videos we have seen and the reports we have read of widespread targeting of Africans. And, you know, the Chinese government is rejecting, but we have seen videos on social media. We have seen reports of Africans being ejected from their homes and from their hotels, some of them late at night. We have uh, had reports of uh, them being uh, forcibly quarantined and tested for COVID-19, even though they did not have any travel history or anything to show that they carried the disease. And there are even report reports of confiscation of passports. And it is better for the Chinese government to own up this maltreatment and abuses and arrest them before it is too late for, for the government. Uh, it is for them to explain why they are doing that. But from our own perspective, this is being done because these people are Africans because they look black. So it is racist, it is discriminatory, it is xenophobic, it is unacceptable, it is barbaric. You can't do this in the world of the 21st century and hope to get away with it. No government should do this and, and no government should be allowed to get away with, with what is happening in China today. But uh, Bulama, the why is is just so um, perplexing and worrying, as you say, you, you, you've seen videos. Um, and we've heard that the new COVID-19 cases in China are coming from overseas people. C could this be playing into what we're seeing or what, what, what you're reporting? No, uh, because uh, look, at, look at it, uh, uh, th there have been about 114 new cases in Guangzhou where these abuses are going on. And only 16 of those 114 cases are Africans. It means less than 15% of the total new cases are Africans. So how can you then justify targeting Africans just because they are Africans? Like I said, it, it sends the message. It creates the impression that Africans are the ones spreading this virus in, virus in China today. China of all places. And this is scientifically false. It is socially unjust, and it is morally condemnable. Nobody should be targeted because of the color of his skin or because of the language he speaks or because of the, the part of the world from where he comes. China should not do that, and there is no any scientific basis for them to continue okay. what they are doing. Uh, Bulama. Like they say less than 15 percent of new cases are, Afri are Africans. Therefore, more than 75 percent of the new cases are either Chinese or people from other parts of the world, not Africa. OK, Bulama, uh, I want to ask you about if there could be or have there been retaliatory attacks in Africa to Chinese, uh, Chinese individuals there? Because we saw the, the front page of Kenya's biggest newspaper lead with the headline, Kenyans in China rescue us from hell and also... Uh, a parliament member calling for Chinese nationals to leave Kenya immediately. That's just in Kenya. Yes, uh, there have also been reports elsewhere, including in Kenya and even videos that Chinese are being targeted by Africans. We condemn every jungle justice or mob action from the part of Africa. But this is a message to China. This is the message to the whole of the world that what China is doing today has consequences. There are about one million Chinese people living in Africa today. And if Africans continue to see their brothers and sisters in China being targeted because of the color of their skin and because of the geography from where they came, China, Chinese in Africa might also be targeted by Africans. And that is why jungle justice is never good. And that is why the Chinese government and African governments must do everything they can for Africans in China to be treated fairly just like every other human being. If they don't do that, the example of what we have seen in Kenya and other places where there have been report, reports of mob action against Chinese could continue in Africa. And the Chinese government, by this policy, by this racist policy, may be putting Chinese, one million Chinese people in Africa in danger of being harmed, or uh, even uh, some of them may lose their lives.
Okay, we'll, we'll leave it there, um, Bulama. I would love to speak to you longer. Uh, Bulama Bukharti, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us.